Well, good morning, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you guys for being part of tailgating, cooking, tailgating, and I guess keto. Um, hope you guys are enjoying this new channel. Um, I, I love actually coming in here in the morning because I feel like I'm confessing my sins um, and things. Here we are, three weeks, we're going on three weeks, it'll be three weeks on Monday. In. We've had a colonoscopy. We've ate some great meals. I, I think some really good stuff. Um, the Reuben casserole was definitely uh, fantastic. Um, the chicken that we cooked last night is good. The good thing about the chicken is I'm going to take the chicken. I'm going to pull some of that chicken meat off of that and make some great um, chicken salad because that will be good for keto. Um, my wife actually boiled some eggs too. So um, I've got actually some eggs in here. So like I'm breaking fast or uh, just wanting a snack, I'll eat a good old egg. And the good news is my blood pressure still went from uh, high blood pressure to normal, high normal for the most part. You know, it, it varies, of course. It'll be a little worse than some days and some days it'll be better depending on so far. And... We're actually walking too. We did that eight mile and 52 minute. Eight mile, I'm sorry. One mile in 18 minutes and 52 seconds, which was good. And I feel pretty good. The good news is, good news is, it seems like the colonoscopy got me a jump start on the um, ketosis. So looking at my piece sticks, been checking a couple times a day they are deep purple so that is great news that I'm actually in ketosis and it's consi it consistently in there so that's even better weight wise I'm still holding right around eight pounds down since um, we started uh, two and a half weeks ago so that's good um, I'm gonna fast today so key on fasting, you want to have a 16 hour fast. Okay. So the last thing I had to eat was last night at about 11 o'clock. I had one of the Jojo chocolates and I have to say Jojo's guilt free chocolates. I'm not getting paid by anything or on this or not, but these are actually really good. I've actually, I think I ate two or three of these yesterday. These are 16 grams, I need glasses, 16 grams of fat total, um, carbohydrates for three of them are 14, but there's three grams of fiber, so three grams of fiber, um, taking that off is actually 11 total carbs, so that's not bad, and zero sugar, and these are chocolate with macadamia nuts and, um, um, coconut so I think I figured it out now from a trail mix I have some macadamia nuts in there I've got some almonds I have some of the blue diamonds with the wasabi on there but we gotta be careful of those because they add sugar when they put those seasonings on there so I'll take some of those I can't do walnuts and all those because they break me out um, if I can find some freeze-dried and I think I'm gonna go online try some freeze-dried raspberries and i think there was a place i saw the star fruit that was freeze dried from florida put that together and i think i might be able to make a trail mix i just need something crunchy to go in it if you have any ideas of something crunchy what i love and miss are actually those sesame seed sticks oh man but that's carbs that's a lot of carbs but um i feel good i feel good and i'm actually walking much better um, if you, and I think that that was the inflammation, um, Joseph Heatherly sent me a couple of twos of, I can't think of the generic term of it, but it's basically, you can buy Valtorin, okay, Valtorin is the one that you can buy at the store, it's more expensive than if you actually look at the name of it, it's Del Salfin or Del Salfin or something like that, but basically it's an ibuprofen cream, 
that you use. You use about a two inch long ribbon of it. You only use it like on two joints at a time. My right knee that I had surgery on had a lot of swelling and things in it. When I started using it, it took a lot of the swelling down and it seems like it got me enough where I could start moving again and not being so stiff. So now you guys know I'm, I'm always in the workshop now working on uh, the butcher blocks and cutting boards and profiles and things like that. And now we're actually going for walks, trying to do at least 20 minutes or more. Um, we have this trail, which is really good because the trail starts out flat, then it goes down the hill to where the bridge is. Um, and then it goes, it's a long, steady climb up. So if you go down the hill to the bridge and you start coming up, there's a big highway sign that's up there. That's like exactly a half mile out. If you continue going up the hill, it flattens out and then there's another little hill and then there's a church. If you go there, that's exactly a mile. And so we are, so far we are down the hill, over the bridge, coming up to the sign, back to where it's flat. And that's like 1.4 miles round trip. And so each time with them, we're taking the dogs with us too. We try to go a little bit further the next time because, you know, Roscoe had the seizure about two, two months or so ago. And Simba has, of course, the calcium issue. And we want to make sure we don't overtax them because I'm not trying to carry both of them back. At least that's my story. So that way I don't have to go quite as far. Um, but I don't feel, here's the difference that I don't feel. I don't feel bloated. And it may be that the keto diet has washed out like a lot of the extra water weight. Um, I still, you know, I've, I've got, uh, this is where majority of my weight is. I don't have fat and stuff like on the arms and my legs. There's, there's not a lot of fat. It's all right here. And see, if I can get rid of this it'll make it much easier because i've got an old man butt see when you get to be an old man your butt kind of flattens out and see then you got the belly so you've got kind of like this cone shape and so your belt just keeps dropping and all that if i can lose the belly then my belt can sit normal so that's my goal right now and uh what i'm hoping for And I don't know how Sunday is going to affect this. So this is where I've got to be good for today and tomorrow. Sunday is Super Bowl Sunday. I'm going to do some Joe Boo wings, the regular style. I did not like the baked ones with the with the baking powder. The baking powder gave it such a terrible taste. It was like, no, nah, okay. If you're going to have to do chicken wings, we're just going to have to do it on cheat day. Just, it's just going to have to be that way. Um, we're going to do that. Now, David Wiley is going to have these uh, wings. Um, excuse me, not wings. Um, pork chop. Um, shish kebabs. And that's truly keto. And um, he wants to do a big sub. Well, you know how I am with a big sub. I was thinking about doing like a meatball sub. That would be different. So maybe we'll do that. Got lots of meatballs, and what I can do is I can just take the meatballs off the bread. We'll see. But I, what I want to do is I want to say goodbye to the 60s by Monday. I want to make sure from here on out by Monday I am under the 260s. I leave that behind. We started out at 269.8. If I can leave that behind, I will feel great for the first three weeks hope you guys are having a great day i don't know if i'm going to cook something tonight or not um but i probably will make the chicken salad i'll make the chicken salad and maybe pull some of the chicken um for later because i could always do like chicken tacos shredded chicken tacos are good Ooh. we'll see we'll figure out something and it's not like if I miss a meal that I'm going to starve to death. I hope you got, oh, and the energy levels are still, energy will be crazy. All right, you have a great day. Peace.